Hey there, Python trainer Ruven Lerner here. And this time I want to talk about something that came up in my corporate training class earlier this week. And that's the difference between built-ins and the standard library. What are they? What's the difference between them? How do we distinguish between them and so forth? So let's start off with this. If you want to use a module or package in your Python program, you can use import or you can use imp from something something import. And I talked about from import in a previous video, so I'm not going to go into it here. So if I want to use the random module, I say import random. I can say random.randint from 0 to 100, and I get a random integer between 0 and 100. So far, so good. Makes a lot of sense. So where does this module come from? It turns out that the random module comes with Python. When you install Python in your computer, you get the random module along with a whole lot of other modules for free. That's right, as if you had to pay anything for anything in Python, but that's a separate problem. So how do you know what comes with Python? What does come with Python? Well, if I go to python.org, and then I go to the documentation, you'll see Python docs. And then we can go to the library reference. And this lists the Python standard library. And Python standard library means all of the things that come with Python automatically. Again, when you download and install the language, this is what you get. And there are tons of modules here that come with it. So we have text processing and binary data services and data types and on and on and on. Now you can see that there are just many, many, many modules here, some of which are huge and some of which you're probably not going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So remember that loading a module, importing a module, means defining data structures, defining classes, defining functions, and all those things take up memory. So if you were to, in your Python program, load all of the things in the standard library, you would be using tons and tons of memory unnecessarily. So for that reason, even if something comes with Python and is available on disk for loading, and it's in the standard library, that does not mean it's automatically loaded. As with our random module here, random needs to be loaded, and we load it up with import. So that is the standard library. What about built-ins, though? Well, if we look back up at the top of our standard library reference, you can see that there are built-in functions, constants, types, and exceptions. And built-in names mean those that are actually loaded into Python and you don't need to import. And so where are those things? How does Python know to look for them? Well, every time we look up a variable, or identifier, I should say, in Python, which means a variable or a function name, any sort of name, Python looks for it L-E-G-B. That means local, enclosing, globals, and built-ins. Meaning that if we're in a function, it's going to look first for the local variables, then the enclosing scope. And if we're not in a function, or if we are and we didn't find in the previous two places, then we look globals and then we look in built-ins. So built-ins is actually a place that Python can look. So where is it? Well, if I look in the global scope where I am now, I look at built-ins, look at that. It is a module. Built-ins is a module, it's dunder built-ins to show us that it's something built into Python. And if it's a module, then it must have names defined. Let's take a look, dir of built-ins. And we see here, First of all, because they're capitalized, a whole lot of exception classes. Those are the built-in exceptions. But then we see in lowercase and with dunders, a whole lot of things that we might use day to day. Things like chr, things like dict, things like eval and exec. Don't use eval and exec unless you really know what you're doing. Things like float, all the names, stir, list, uh, tuple. All the names that we think of as being built into Python are actually in the built-ins namespace. So built-ins are a special subset of the standard library that are automatically loaded into Python that we don't need to import in order to make use of them. Imagine if every time you wanted to use a string, you had to say import, import stir. That would be madness and really, really annoying. So you don't have to do that. So the built-ins namespace exists and it actually automatically exists in every single module that is defined so that it all automatically and always has access to it. So you have the built-ins, which you don't need to import. You have the standard library, which you don't need to download, but you do need to import. And then of course we have all the things on PyPI, the Python package index, which are not installed on our computer and obviously not imported. And anything that you download and install from here, typically using pip, you will need to uh, you will need to um, import.
but the pip installation process puts it into a place that it can be loaded up from. All right, I hope that helps you to understand the difference between the standard library and built-ins. If you have other questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with me on Twitter or via email, and I look forward to your questions and to answering them here in this channel in the near future.